Thanks so much. A deadly New Year's Day shooting really underscoring a trend. Cincinnati city leaders are desperate to reverse. We're talking about teenagers using guns to settle scores. Yeah, but finding ways to keep bullets from flying is obviously no easy task. WLWT News 5's Todd Dykes is on the story live tonight for us with a tried and true tactic that some say needs a bit of a reboot, Todd. Yeah, Mike and Sir, you know, it'd be a reboot with more boots on the ground. Longtime residents of the Queen City may recall a time when trained outreach workers would flood the zone, so to speak, during a burst of violence. Those workers are still part of the city's response to deadly shootings, but there aren't as many as was the case just a few years ago. Kids killing kids with guns. It's become an all too familiar reality in the Queen City. Some kids may be friends one day and then some posts happen on social media and then all of a sudden they're they're enemies and then you're shooting. When bullets start flying, community outreach advocates like Derek Rogers and Deron Hunter working in concert with the Urban League and City Hall go to crime scenes to help calm tensions and be a voice of reason. It's sad each time because you see the pain on the parents face. When Rogers was first trained to be an outreach worker more than a decade ago, he was one of 12. Now there are six. With teen gun violence spiking, he'd like to see that number tick back up. We need as many as possible because it takes a village. Virginia Talent, an assistant city manager, values what outreach workers do, but she said changes in criminal behavior are forcing officials to embrace new crime fighting models. So the face of violence in Cincinnati has shifted, and it, it used to be that it was really gangs of people. Talent said when gang activity was more prevalent, outreach workers were vital because they could help convince bad guys who called the shots to stop the violence. But now, many shootings are the result of spontaneous flare-ups between kids carrying guns, flare-ups that are often unpredictable. There are certainly more than one solution to these complex problems. So just the face of violence and like why violence is perpetrated is so fundamentally different and more complex that it's really why we've had to change our approach in terms of driving at root cause and solutions. Now, the word pivot reflects the city's new approach to fighting crime. It's a place-based initiative. Police use data to target neighborhoods where gunfire is all too common. And Talent said the pivot program helped uh, drive a big drop in crime in North Over the Rhine. And she hopes the same happens uh, in West, the West End. That's where a new pivot program has been deployed. Reporting live tonight outside City Hall, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5.